Yes, we are in the bathroom. And this is where it all began. I saw this shower curtain on a tiny house video and I fell in love with it. And this became the beginning of Blue Hawaii, our midterm rental. I went off the colors off of this. It will go right up here when our curved shower uh, bar comes. So this is like blue and gray. I just, just love this. So that was the beginning of our blue theme. I went ahead and got on Amazon just a blue hair dryer, brand new. So hopefully it'll last a while. Definitely uh, want to make sure that your renter knows that they don't have to bring anything with them. They don't have to bring towels. They don't have to bring a hair dryer. They don't have to bring an alarm clock. They don't have to bring anything except for their clothes and maybe their phone and a couple personal items. Okay. Also got this blue two set bath mat for $19.99. This was at Home Goods and also at Home Goods we got the matching towel set. Okay, so we're going to have a set of blue and we're also going to have a set of white. Okay, so they'll have their choice and we'll have both sets. This was $24.99 at Home Goods. At Burlington Coat Factory, we got these. Um, this is for the soap and that was, I think, $5.99 and then just like $2.79 for this vanilla, vanilla lavender scent. So that'll be nice. And this was $4.99. That's for their toothbrush. We got this at Big Lots for $14. You've got both your scrub brush and your plunger. You want that combination there. Of course, your Febreze and your tissues. And this is a simple human waste basket. Um, this brand I just really like. We have a white one in our kitchen that we really like a lot. So this was $19.99. You don't have to spend that much. This was a splurge. Uh, again, it's just a name brand. It's good quality. I like it. This is a beautiful mirror. This is a mirror that I talked about before where it has three panels. It's not set up yet. The shelves aren't in there, but this is where they would put all their things. And that way there's nothing on here except for these two items. That way it's easy to clean. They want to put their hair curling iron and things like that. There's plenty of room for that. This little guy I already had, so it's just being repurposed. Give them a head start, little Q-tips and cotton, cotton balls. And that's the bathroom for now. Can't wait to see it all put together. Okay, so there's the vanity. I just put everything that belongs in there. And this is the top of the vanity. So basically they've got one and a half drawers. This is kind of got cut out because of the sink. They got those drawers. I have a bin here that has the hair dryer and, and three different attachments for that. And in here, I have another container that has the cleaning supplies for the bathroom, some more soap, hand soap for the uh, dispenser, and a, a brush, and a cleaning rag, and a bar of Dove soap, and some TP. And then underneath is where we have extra towels. We've got a set of white, a set of blue. I've got some face cloths there, and a beach towel, because you just never know. And we've got the blue mats here, one, two, and then we've got Nicole Miller really soft, yummy towels and there and face cloths underneath and then facial tissue. And again, I guess we just need some plants, one or two plants in here and we are good to go. Here is the curved bar, which makes the shower feel so much bigger. And then it's the inside liner that has the magnets at the bottom. And this is what holds it against the tub. And there you go. Nice, spacious shower.